Giannis not liking what's going on in Milwaukee, and there's no way Devin Booker likes what's going on in, in Phoenix. That's a fact. So, so when you got a superstar entering their prime, no, no, Devin but hold Booker, on. I forget it's a couple more names. Zion does not like what's going on in, in, in New Orleans. Let's not forget that. He's right. very they unhappy. All, but they, they all don't. But my thing with Devin Booker is personally, I don't even like Devin Booker. I, I think he's a front runner. Every time they're up by 15, he starts talking. I put a I'm gonna start putting a bet down on FanDuel. They're gonna lose the league. That's the easy, that's the easiest tell in all of sports right now. Is Devin Booker just anytime I see him running his mouth talking, I hate it with a passion. But what I saw last year in the playoffs and what Don's been telling me, what what two guard is really better than him? When Jimmy Butler plays a two, okay, you got Jimmy Butler. Who's better than, than Devin Booker? And if you got DiVincenzo killing like that, doesn't Devin Booker slide right in there and become a Devin, a better version of DiVincenzo? Especially on offense, so so, so, so for let, me it's like it's so just me, the catch, the catch and shoot, opening the floor up with OJ and Anobi out there is seamless. So let me ask you a question. So I'm I'm gonna throw out some names from CAA that I think um would be getting over the hump with our Knicks. So these are, CAA has a list of great players, but I'm gonna give you six that I think automatically comes to the Knicks to make us championship contenders, title contenders. You have uh, Paul George. You have Carl Anthony Towns. You have Donovan Mitchell. You have Zion. You have Jerry Jackson Jr. And you have Devin Booker. Your opinion. Now, for me, I think we get any of those guys and we don't lose much, like maybe a Fournier, maybe a, you know, we might have to throw Grimes in there. Maybe a few picks. Um, who do you think out of those six would guarantee us title contention? Or would we need more? Well, if you have, if you bring in Cat and you don't lose much, and is what you said, the, the salary's got to match, and he's playing the three because he doesn't even like to rebound and stuff like that, right? Because then OG and I don't see that working out though. I don't see that being a seamless fit because he he resists going to the to the basket. Um I don't see them being like a the way they pass the rock around. Like the Knicks are looking unbelievable right now. The way they pass the ball, I don't see Cat. I think he's more of a ball stopper. Um, Zion is not proven. Donovan Mitchell, and, and and for me, and uh, Donovan Mitchell's tough, bro. Because as much as we were talking about uh, Dejounte Murray as that being a rumor, how can you not talk about Donovan Mitchell? They're the same height. He, I think he's up there with steals also. So I was resisting that before because we were trading. RJ Barrett and Mitchell Robinson. But right. if you add Donovan Mitchell with this, Hartenstein's playing out of his mind. He I can see him passing the ball around. I think he's he's struggling over there in Cleveland, but we have a culture here now. So for him to be a part of this culture, so Donovan Mitchell and Devin Booker, that's the only guy you could argue right now that's been proven in terms of performing, except last season. Go ahead. With with Devin Booker. Well, for me, I'm gonna give you a name that you know you didn't say. And we actually went after him but they wanted too much paul george i think paul george would fit in with us perfectly let me explain why because he's a low-key superstar he doesn't want to be the man he said it himself i think he'll come in like just imagine him and og listen you see what him and Kawhi. i'm not saying og is Kawhi, but og is a low budget Kawhi defensively so i i would like paul george only because I think he may be cheaper than everybody else. But I honestly think if we could get any of those guys, we go into title contention. I'm not, yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a diehard Knicks fan, but looking at the landscape of the league today, a lot of the guys is getting older. You know, you got a lot of young guys that they're not ready to make that leap yet, dealing with a lot of injuries. So we have a core, we have a head coach that I'm not in love with, but I'm starting to respect him a little bit. He's doing a wonderful job right now thus far. So, yeah, I think we get any of those guys. Any of those guys. The only one that I'm not too high on is Jerry Jackson Jr. I would want maybe a shooter to come along with him. But even him, like I said, if we get any of those guys and we don't lose much, we right there. Because we, we, we almost there right now. Like I said, I think we're the fourth best team in the East behind no order, Milwaukee, Boston, Philly. I think after that, it's us. Paul George is tough, bro, because he's taller than all of them. Not sure what he has defensively. I got to ask Dom about that. 
I hate his passing. I hate the way he passes the ball. Yeah, but he, he even admitted don't, don't pass the ball in. But he he he's still a three and D. He's still a three and D. Think about it. He's better than OG. At what? Offensively, it's not even close. Well, yeah, he can create and right. and they're and and they're sharing the ball over there in in, in on on the clip on the Clippers. And you got Brunson there as his Kawhi right now, like exactly. He, and and Brunson needs like as much as I like Booker. Part of the reason why I like Booker over Donovan Mitchell is because he's taller. Donovan Mitchell got a seven foot wingspan, but Paul George is six eight already. He's six eight already, and you got I mean him and OG. I don't think Kawhi is is OG right now. Even though he took Randall out of the game, I seen him do that. I don't think Kawhi is OG right now on defense. So it, wow. that's an automatic. If you're going after Paul George, who by the way Kawhi Leonard just resigned three years. A buck fifty with the Clippers right. today. He just resigned an extension. If Paul George doesn't resign with them, I'm trying that's to tell tough you. because yeah. you, you have to go, but you have to go after somebody else. I think because he's injury prone, and Devin Booker is not. That's another thing. Well, I, he's I, I, older. I, I, I get what you're saying, but you know, I think you know Wolf said it best, and this is the first time in a long time that the Knicks are being patient, which I've always preached to you. You have to be patient. And we wait for that one move. And there's a lot out there for us.